Hello everyone, myself Chandrasekhar welcoming you all to this wonderful session where I will be discussing about the major difference in the syllabus of engineering science paper and the mechanical and civil engineering syllabus for the fluid mechanics subject. So this session is going to be important for all those gate aspirants who are going for two paper combination, who are going to appear for two papers, one for their regular stream and the other can be the engineering science. So for mechanical and civil engineering students, I believe the engineering science paper is the best choice for the second paper because it is having uh, less competition. You can easily secure a seat in IIT for your MTech admission through engineering science paper. So after the inclusion or after the introduction of this two paper combination in 2021, most of the students prefer to appear for two papers. It is always beneficial. And if you are selecting the second paper as engineering science, then you can opt for fluid mechanics as one of your sections in engineering science because we all study the fluid mechanics in our regular stream for civil as well as mechanical engineers. So that is why I will be talking about the major difference in the syllabus of fluid mechanics in engineering science. What are the points you should focus more upon? What are the extra things in engineering science fluid mechanics syllabus? And what are the things you can skip or you can have less priority to study in your civil engineering or mechanical engineering fluid mechanics subjects. So guys, before I start, let me quickly introduce myself. I am mechanical engineering graduate from IIT Delhi, having more than 10 years of teaching experience in the field of GATE, IES and PSUs. I have also cleared the engineering services examination and worked in Steel Authority of India Limited as well. You can always connect with me through the mail ID or you can join me on the telegram that is mechanical by Chandrasekhar. The link is also mentioned at the bottom. So many students are already part of my telegram channel who are preparing for gate exam or any other competitive examination. So it will be helpful for you also to be part of my telegram channel. So let us come back to the point. The gate engineering science paper is very much similar to your regular stream paper. It is again CB, CBT containing MCQs, MSQs and NATs. There is no negative marking for MSQs and NATs, but yes, there is a negative marking for MCQs. So the gate engineering science XE paper is one of the 29 papers in the gate exam, which consists of nine sections in total, including the general ability or general aptitude GA and along with that, there are eight different section A to H. So let us talk about these, uh, the pattern and then we will move to the syllabus of the fluid mechanics. So the general aptitude GA paper is compulsory for all those who are opting for engineering science paper. So the general aptitude will be containing 50 marks in total. There are five one mark question and then there will be five two mark question. So there will be total 10 questions. There will be 10 questions from the general aptitude which is compulsory and then section A which is let me write it here section A which is engineering mathematics that is also compulsory. So these two sections are compulsory irrespective of the other two sections you select. These two sections are compulsory. It is also containing 50 marks, 15 marks. So 30 marks uh, content is compulsory for all the, the students who are appearing for engineering science paper. 
So engineering mathematics will contain seven one marks question and four two marks question. So four to the eight plus seven that is fifteen marks. So there will be total question eleven question. So engineering mathematics will have eleven question. So ten plus eleven that is twenty one questions are compulsory to be attempted. Will be same for each and every student who is appearing for engineering science paper. And for uh, MCQs, there is one third of negative for one marker question, and for two marks question, two third will be negative. So this includes this contain thirty marks, right? Then the remaining B to H, there are seven. <clears throat> ga is compulsory a um, engineering mathematics that is a is compulsory then you can choose any two sections you can select any two sections from b to h out of the seven sections you should select two any two that is purely your choice and the selection of the uh, of the uh, section can also be done after seeing the paper of all the sections and you can also select in, in the midway you can also select uh, a section in the midway if you are not comfortable with the with the let us say fluid mechanics then if you want to choose some other subject then you should deselect that particular uh, out of the selected two options you have to deselect one of them and then you can reselect the the section which you are more comfortable with so that 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 is the uh, flexibility you are having now out of the seven section section 1 will contain nine one mark questions and 13 two marks question so that will contain total 35 marks so 9 plus 13 that is 22 questions from section 1 and similarly section 2 will also contain nine one mark question and 13 two marks question again it will make 35 marks and again 22 questions so 44 questions you have to to solve from section 1 and section 2 so 44 question here and 21 question there so total so th this will contain 70 marks and the earlier these two compulsory uh, sections had 30 marks so the total duration is 3 hours similar to your gate regular paper and the total number of questions will be 65 questions and that will have total 100 marks so the pattern of the gate engineering science paper is very much similar or same as the regular gate paper 65 question you have to attempt in 3 uh, hours and the total marks distribution is 100 marks so now let us come to our syllabus of fluid mechanics in engineering science right let us start with the first section this is the fluid mechanics syllabus engineering science syllabus official syllabus so let us see here the first section includes fluid and properties and the flow density viscosity surface tension these are the three properties which are there in your engineering science syllabus but there is no mention about the compressibility there is no mention about the vapor pressure and cavitation so they are not part of your so you have to focus on these three properties only surface tension and capillarity is the extension of surface tension so these are the properties you should focus on rest of the properties like compressibility vapor pressure and cavitation you can skip right and then the newtonian fluid or newton's law of viscosity stress strain rate curve that is the newton's law of viscosity then the the, the section 1 includes the classification of the flow viscous inviscid incompressible compressible internal external steady and steady laminar turbulent all these classifications are there in your fluid kinematics as well so nothing is different from the kinematics hydrostatics that is the fluid statics buoyancy manometry 
and forces on submerged body and stability. The complete fluid statics is same as your civil or mechanical syllabus. So there is no change in the statics part. Are you get, getting it? Then let us move to the kinematics. In kinematics, we talk, we study the classification of the flow. That is one part. Eulerian and Lagrangian approach. Concept of local convective acceleration and material derivative. Streamline, stick line, path line, timeline. They are similar. There is no mention of the continuity equation, but conservation of mass is continuity equation. In section 3, it is mentioned. Then momentum equation, linear as well as angular momentum. Reynolds transport theorem. That is the control volume approach. So that is the section 3 we have already discussed. In kinematics, we study the fluid rotation, vorticity, stream function and circulation. So in kinematics also everything is there. The kinematics, complete statics is same. Complete kinematics is same. But in fluid properties, you should not focus on compressibility, vapor pressure, cavitation, etc. You should focus only on density, viscosity, uh, surface tension and com uh, capillarity. Right? That covers the statics and kinematics. Now let us move to the dynamics part. Differential analysis, that is the system approach. Conservation of mass, momentum for incompressible flows. For inviscid flow, Bernoulli equation, Euler equation and Bernoulli equation. For viscous flow, we use the Navier-Stock equation. Right? So that is part. And in case of internal flow, Navier-Stock equation is important, which we apply for the laminar flow, viscous flow. Kraut flow and Poiseuille flow. This is flow between parallel plates. Parallel plates. This is important. And dimensional analysis, geometric, kinematics and dynamic similarity, Buckingham Pi theorem. They have not mentioned the second method that is Rayleigh method, but it is simple. Uh, and non-dimensional parameter and their physical significance, model laws. So model laws are important. So dimensional analysis is same as your fluid mechanics or the dynamics analysis syllabus for your uh, civil as well as mechanical paper. Right? Then for internal flow, fully developed pipe flow, empirical relations for laminar and turbulent flow, all the formula related to the laminar flow in a pipe and turbulent flow in a pipe, the concept of friction factor, darcy Westbeck equation, Moody chart is used for turbulent flow, major and minor losses. In case of internal flow, a little lesser syllabus is there in your engineering science paper. There is no mention about compounding of pipe. Compounding of pipes. That is series or parallel combination. No question is asked from the compounding of pipe. You can skip that part. There is no question asked from the branching of pipes or multi-reservoir system. So you can skip that. You can uh, skip the power transmission through pipe. So these things, major and minor losses are already included. So these topics, these areas you can skip. And Bernoulli equation and its application and potential flow. Let me tell you about the potential flow. This is very, very important. This is not part, this is not much important in your civil engineering, mechanical engineering. But this is the unique topic, velocity potential function, uniform flow source, sink, vortex and their superposition for flow pass simple geometry. That is one of the important areas where every time the questions are asked. Bernoulli equation, same as that of your civil and mechanical paper. Flow measurement, venturimeter, application of Bernoulli principle, that is venturimeter, pitot tube, orifice meter are all there in your syllabus. External flow, boundary layer equations, boundary layer theory, concepts, assumptions, that is important or oh, every Every concept related to the boundary layer theory, von Karman equation, etc. all are important. And the thickness of boundary layer, displacement, thickness, momentum, thickness, everything is important. Boundary layer separation is again part of the engineering uh, uh, science syllabus. 
and then drag and lift forces on submerged body drag and lift streamlined bluff bodies so external flow is more or less same as that of your civil and mechanical engineering syllabus all right so these are the things you can skip compounding of pipe branching of pipe as well as you can skip the compressibility vapor pressure and cavitation concept and you should include this these uh, you should include this elementary potential flow in your syllabus for preparation of fluid mechanics in your for your engineering science right and this uh, hydraulic machines is the not a part of your engineering science fluid mechanics syllabus so the most important topics in engineering science the most important topics in engineering science uh, fluid mechanics syllabus is viscosity every now and then question asked are asked from the newton's law viscosity then manometry pressure measurement pascal law and hydrostatic law then hydrostatic force and the concept of buoyancy and the condition of stability then kinematics continuity equation streamline acceleration these are important and another important area is elementary potential flow as well as the vortex motion then energy equation application bernoulli equation and including the darcy westbeck equation momentum equation for pipe bend as well as impact of jet the moment to momentum equation angular momentum equation is not very much important all the formula related to the laminar flow in pipe laminar flow between parallel plates is not very important even though they have mentioned cout flow and poiseuille flow but not very much important and the boundary layer theory all the concepts all the Uh, definitions and the mathematical expression related to boundary layer theory and finally the various model laws based on the dimensionless numbers so these are the most important portion in the fluid mechanics paper for your engineering science all right so this is all from my side so thank you very much for watching this video see you in the next such session till then enjoy take care have a good day and a great career ahead thank you and jai hind